what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking johnson before here bring you guys a classic black ops 2 for sure most of you guys are already missing this game because you sold this game for call of duty ghost which you shouldn't have done because call of duty ghost only lasted for a month or three months if you were good so yeah that's what pretty much happened i bet you because now i'm gonna get up a bunch of comments or something i don't know people telling me that they actually sold black ops 2 for call of duty ghost so Right now, I'm nodding my head, like shaking my head. You guys shouldn't, you guys shouldn't have done that because it was a big mess. But anyways, you know, what do you guys miss about Black Ops 2? Tell me in the comment section. I would like to know. What do you guys miss? What do you guys miss doing the most? Maybe some trolling. Maybe met new friends or something. Tell me in the comment section. It would be cool to know. But for me, you know, one of the things that I really miss the most is doing series in YouTube from Black Ops 2. You know, I ended up making a few here and there. Like for example, one of them was Call of Duty Jackass with Cruz and Chavez. Another thing was the funny live moments. I actually continued from Modern Warfare 3, and uh, there was only like around six episodes because there was like less people using mics and stuff. And you know, I couldn't do a funny live moments for a while, and then I ended up doing it, and then not to like it was all over the place. But there was like all of them were hits, though. All the episodes were hits. They were like they all had like over 100 views, so that's good. A lot of people liked it. Um, also, I met new YouTubers, uh, supported you know, though, because. Before Black Ops 2, like around the Modern Warfare 3 era, I wasn't supporting anyone. Maybe like one. Like it was Gaming 600, but it wasn't much of a big deal. Thanks to him. Thanks to him and uh, Miss Heart Attack. Miss Heart Attack was another person who really inspired me to supporting YouTubers because Gaming 600 supported me. And he had like around 300 subs. And I had like around 68. And then I grew from there. Miss Heart Attack said. No girl gamer out there can survive in YouTube more than two weeks because they were all weak and they couldn't survive because they couldn't handle YouTube and the comments and the flirting and all that stuff. And I was like, you know what? Challenge accepted. Supported Ms. Deadwitch, who used to be girl gamer status, and supported Gracie KP. And they pretty much grew from under 50 subs to all the way to 300. And then, uh, you know, who's this other girl? Gracie KP grew from 300 all the way to 1,000, which is pretty much impressive. That was pretty much cool to see. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I ended up supporting YouTubers during the Black Ops 2 era, and then I ended up supporting Epic Ninja Girl HD later on in the year, which was in the month of July or or August, I'm not sure, and then in the month of August, I ended up supporting Naughty88. That was all over one year ago. <laughs> I mean, I still remember because, you know, I have good memory and stuff, but anyways, yeah, I mean, supporting YouTube started from Black Ops 2. Um, another thing was the MP7. The MP7 from this game was pretty good compared to the one from Modern Warfare 3. It really was, and the reason why I say that is because this weapon is all around. I mean, if you shoot from hipfire, goddamn it, this gun can shoot all the way from medium range, all the way to medium range from hipfire. It was pretty much impressive. Um, the recoil on this gun was pretty much low every time you aim down the field, but it can took bipolar sometimes. I don't even know why it does that. And um, you know, I just really enjoyed this weapon. It actually ended up being in my top three list. My top, my top three weapons of the whole Call of Duty series. My number one is the P90 from Modern Warfare 3 for committing over 80,000 kills. My number two weapon of all time from the Call of Duty series is the AK-74U for making me go to the top 15 in the whole world for both Domination and Team Deathmatch. And my number three weapon of all time is the MP7 from Black Ops 2. Not from Modern Warfare 3 because that one sucked ass. I don't know, I don't know why uh, people use that gun, but it really sucked. But in Black Ops 2, it was beastly as hell. I re it really did pretty much of a good damage, and I enjoyed it. I have over 8,000 kills with it, but not that much of a big deal. But still, a good balanced-ass weapon. So that's why I made it to my number 3, because it increased my KD, and I was doing a hell of a job with it. And also, um, another thing that I really missed about you know Black Ops 2 is committing over 70 kills per game. God damn it, how the hell did I even do that here in this game? compared to Modern Warfare 3, because in Modern Warfare 3, the farthest I can go was 60 kills per game. This one I was reaching 70 and 80, I mean, my best gameplay was 80 and 0, my best flawless gameplay of all time, 80 and 0. That's insane shit, so, if you guys want to see some Black Ops 2 videos from me, make sure you search back into my old videos and watch some Black Ops 2 stuff that I used to do.